All right, YouTube, today's video is going to be a little different, so I'm going to need y'all to bear with me on this one. All right, let's go. The smooth for life. All right, YouTube, so I wanted to bring y'all on this journey today. We are in downtown Atlanta. We are checking out my man Dave Pensada. If you never heard of him, go on YouTube. Pensada's place, one of the best audio engineers in the game. Learned a lot from this guy, so I came to check him out. I had to come check him out. He might got some special guests, famous rappers, famous producers here. So we're going to see. Let's go ahead and check out my man Dave Pensada. Now, Herb Trowick, I don't know if you guys know, but he's the host of the show. They show Pensada's place. Uh, came out of nowhere to become the number one show in the world for our our thing, production, music production. They're in 450 different episodes right now, uh, 192 countries. I think there might be only three countries it's not in. The little tiny countries like Pacific Island or something like that. Everywhere else you can get it. So it's 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 fantastic. We have a full house for them here in Atlanta. So, uh, I don't know where they are, they're somewhere close by though. Uh, so, let's have a big Atlanta welcome for Dave Pensado and Herb Trowick. Come on, Atlanta folks. <laughs> Let's break down the room a little bit. How many engineers? Cool. How many producers? Artists? Got it. Songwriters? Cool. Anybody on the management or executive tip thinking that way? Need more of you guys. I only see six or seven, but that's okay. Um, so what we want to do a little bit is have a conversation kind of from our point of view, the way things are changing and trending and maybe some things that you need to think about that you might not have thought about. So, one of the things that is the advantage that we have is every day, excuse me, every week to our left, sit some of the best. They produce Cardi B or they produce Rascal Flatts or we just came from Nashville last weekend where we had two songwriters which will air in a couple of weeks, which you should see. Um, between the two songwriters, they had 41 number one country hits in the last two years. 41? I was like, well, but, but what you'll find is that the guy that has the most country hits also writes with Snoop, and writes with Babyface, and they push themselves outside the envelope. So we're gonna talk about why that is important. But basically, Dave and I have a learning incubator every week where people come and share their expertise with us, and we go, oh, wow. And so we get to learn every week, and so what we think is we should share some of that stuff with you guys. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, by the way, that's Dave Gonzalo. Yo. Between knee surgeries and Dave broke his finger yesterday and, and shit, we almost took him to the airport in the ambulance. It was, it was hilarious. Um, but look at this crowd. How could I miss this? Right, absolutely. Good looking bunch. Good looking. Well, there's a couple of losers, but good looking crowd overall. Dave used to work in that one. I graduated from Southwest Cal High School here. And I'm still alive to say that, yes. But I think they shut the school down after he graduated, so. Um, I shut it down while I was there. <laughs> and that, <laughs> was, of times. that was back when Lincoln was president, but that's another story. Um, so uh, let's let's dive in a little bit. Uh, well, actually, let's not. How many people like winning stuff? Woo! Okay, cool. There's actually two people who have their hands down. But this, uh, no problem. So um, are we still giving away that SSL 80 channel console? <laughs> One of the segments on the show that we do is called Batter's Box. Have you guys seen Batter's Box? Yeah. All right, so we're going to play a version of Batter's Box. I'm going to win this one for a change. Um, I'm going to tease up. Who said that? 
Okay. You should learn something. <laughs> I'm going to tee it up for Dave so you can get a sense of the kinds of things that he uses for specific things. and see what happens. All right, are you going to go? I'm going to break the rule. I'm going to tell you like a couple of words why, you know, so, so you'll know why I use these things. This is true. Ask my assistant. So if he gets more wind, then just act like you're asleep, and then I'll cut it. What do you mean? Wind. Which is normal. All right, Dave, here you go. You ready for batter's box? You've never won one, so really hard on it. Are you ready? Yes. Stereo bus. Uh, the Mog EQ4M. It's a piece of outboard gear, but it's also a plug-in. Uh, I like it on my stereo bus. Uh, a little goes a long way. Don't overdo it. Um, normally, I take out a little bit of sub, but like 20 and below. Uh, the 2K shelf is money, and it's also got a 2.5K a, a, a to 40K. That, If you think about it, you can't hear 40K, but the slope is so gradual that it helps you with the top end. Limiter. Uh, this is one that, that I, I hesitated to put in the list because it's expensive. It's, it's a company called DMG Limitless, and it's the best way I've found to get my music loud without having the LUFS go up. It's uh, Limitless by DMG. Incredible. I put that on my stereo bus. Vocals. Um, the Isotope Nectar 3. Uh, what I do is I parallel into it, so I don't put it across my vocal, I parallel into it, and the presets are great. Reverb. Um, the UAD Capital Chambers, it's, it's, it's money, I'm, I'm telling you, it's money, it is so good. It's expensive, probably 300 bucks, but I've never had a reverb that made a sound come in my face, incredible. Saturation Distortion. Um, Fuzz Box by McDSP, runner up, of course, Decapitator. I use, I use Fuzz Box on everything. Um, you're on a desert island and you need a compressor. What would your go-to compressor be? You know what? Um, the Lonely Renaissance Compressor by Waves, it does everything. I've got a preset on there called Rap Squash Minus 12. Don't get scared. It works on everything. And um, guitars, everything. It's a beautiful sound. Um, equalizer. The MDW by Massenburg. You can get it straight from Massenburg and get from UAD. And uh, then I like the Cambridge from UAD. They're, they're, they're very clean. I don't use them when on a dirty thing, but I use them when I want something clean, like the top end of a boat. Um, delay. Fifty damn dollars. Valhalla. Delay. New. It's crazy good. Uh, try um, try it like an eighth on the right and a dotted sixteenth on the on the left, and, and mess with it. It'll, it'll make your vocal jump out of the speakers. And if your studio caught fire, what is the one thing you would want to say besides me? <laughs> um, I'm a little. I'm, I think I'm a little screwed up, but. I have things around me in the studio that I might not use, but I just like to see them every day. They, they just make me happy. And my EMT 250, uh, they only made about 100, about 200 of them. And back when they were one of the first reverbs to come out, they're huge, you know. Um, they were like 10 grand when they came out. And I don't use it a lot because the UAD one is good, but uh, I love that guy. Sometimes you want to play little league ball, and then you, then you move up to, you know, high school ball, and you move up to college, and you move up to pro, and um, Atlanta's a perfect place to start. Don't, don't, don't think that you can't make it by starting here, and you can also make it by ending up here. I've got several close friends that have moved here recently, uh, and they're doing great, and they're, they're very successful. So it's not where you're at, it's, it's going to some. It's your heart. And um, there's all, you, all you need to learn is right here. I promise. On this side, how about you and the pink? Hey, thank you guys for getting in. Thank um, you. Pretty much I'm starting from ground zero. I'm an artist, but is there such thing as a best software to use for a beginner, or is it there's just so many different ones? And I've heard like Ableton's more complicated than Logic or whatnot. Is there a one that you suggest? Well, I would say the best. The best of anything really is the one you can afford and the one you can master quickly. I would 
I would start with a, with a more creative one that's designed for, for composing and uh, maybe find one used, you know. Um, they're out there. Uh, but it has to be something that, that, that doesn't get in the way of your creativity. Creativity is, is, is real fickle. If you're sitting there trying to solve technical issues, it's a waste of time. Start small. Maybe this might sound stupid. I'd love to hear what some of you guys think. But uh, maybe they'd be good with GarageBand or something that's real easy and then it works, you know. Mainly right now you want to catalog your ideas and then as you get familiar with it, the, the thing in, in the digital space is, is like learning a new language. None of it's difficult. It's just the, the nomenclature of the language and where the hell the knobs are. So it's just experience. And, and ultimately, I think, I think you made a, an interesting point, even though I'm not sure you know you were making it. Um, what we find on the show is that most of the professionals that are on the show are attempting to simplify they're not, everybody's overwhelmed. There's so many tools, there's so many, so people aren't trying to master all the tools, they're trying to figure out how to get rid of the noise so that they can get to their creative process. They, listen, when it works, it works. And so you can't be afraid of saying, okay, just because there's 19 new plugins over here and 65 playlists over there and all this kind of stuff, you'll make yourself batshit crazy trying to keep up with all the stuff. When what you're trying to do is get to that stuff that makes your work unique and incredible. So don't be afraid to simplify. We have a little something for them in this Insta bag. They have received a lot of things in their careers and in their lives, but I guarantee you they never receive one of these. OG Kush. <laughs> So join me in congratulating <laughs> Dave Pensado and Herb Trowick in receiving their very own Insta Gold Record. So thank you guys, and uh, thank you guys. We just wrapping up the Insta Best, another success. David Posada here in Atlanta gave us a whole bunch of knowledge. Gave away a bunch of gifts. I ain't getting no yeah. gift, but it don't matter. I'm still gonna come to the next one. I think there's one in Nashville. We probably gonna hit that one. Check us out next week. And that way, I'll come over there and we'll chop it up.